Hi everyone, it's Nancy Bastine. Do you see this goodness? All this goodness. And look, there's Belle. There's little Belle. Look up, Belle. Look up. Look up. Oh, oh, she wanted in my arms. Now she wants down. She doesn't want to make a debut. Okay, get down. No, I'm not going to hold you. Anyway, I want to show you all this goodness. And no, this was not cut with the shredder. This was cut with Nancy's two little hands and her cutter. And we're going to do some stuff with this in a minute. I'm going to show you more paper tape. Yeah, paper tape. Some more. Anyway, yeah, we'll be using that in a minute. Now, the second thing is, is I've been looking for this paper. What it is, is it's sticker paper that's the whole 8.5 by 11 is sticker. Now, in order to go to Office Depot or Office Max or Staples, you get like maybe 10, 15 sheets in a package for maybe $20. An outrageous price. So I found this place online. It's called Online Labels Company. And I wanted to show you. I got 100 sheets for $10.45. 8.5 by 11. But I wanted to show you how it is packaged. It comes in this nice package. Um, I just thought they, their packing was wonderful. And here's the paper. And we're going to be using this today. And it folds in half, you know, so you can get your sticky part. Like so. So, we're going to use this to make paper tape. Now, in my last video of quilling, I noticed when I uploaded it that what I was trying to show was I was off camera. So I want to reshow this for everyone, and especially for Victor. I found some stuff, Victor. I went looking after I loaded it up, and I found some of my stuff. This is, I think this is a quarter inch, or maybe, I'm not sure if it's a quarter inch or eighth of an inch width of paper. This is the size I used to love to use. Uh, and it also comes in half inch size or maybe this is a quarter inch because I cut all these strips in half yeah this is quarter inch and this must be an eighth but anyway uh, it come and then there was a half inch and then I think it could get it up to an inch I'm not sure but when I ordered this offline it came in you know, it all all depends on what you want. It comes in this big thing like this that is all glued together. But I was trying to show you the tool, Victor. And this is the tool with the little slot in the end. I still haven't found my other one. And these are a few of the things that I found that I was fooling around with making. Uh, the different shapes. I don't know if that was going to be a flower or what it was. I just found it in a little box I have all this stuff kept in. And then this little twirly thing. I moved my camera back, the angle back out because I thought it was too close in my last video. So I'm showing these up close to you instead of bringing my camera down because I'll probably shut it off when I do that. And then um, this little flower, I found this little flower that I had glued together. I 
I didn't put it on anything. <clears throat> and then, here's just another shape. This is like the square. A square shape. I know they're real tiny. Really tiny to see. And... <clears throat> Here's that teardrop, or I don't know, double teardrop, I guess, double. And then, <clears throat> these are just, um, uh, scroll together and then quill together in the circle and then shaped into a heart. And then I think this one was, I was trying to make the sun, and it wasn't coming out quite right, so I just kind of threw it in a box and forgot about it. I might pull these out and put them on a tag or something. They are kind of fun. Fun to look at. And then, um, I found these kits. And this one you can make the miniature, I don't know which way I'm supposed to show this to you, because I think my camera's upside down, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let me pull it down a little bit. Hang on. Okay, this is... Some things you can make. And I noticed that on that one, Victor, that you were making the bell and you were pushing it out. That's exactly how this is done. It's it's wound around the in its circles. Then you push them out into your shapes. And then I found... I think this is the first kit that I got because it came with everything. This is where I bought this from, was Quilling Creations. And so there's this one for flowers. Another one for flowers. Different kinds of flowers. Another one for the sun and the flowers and the other shapes. And then when you buy these kits, this is a bug kit I haven't opened. It shows you how to do all different kinds of bugs. So when you buy these, they come in a bag like this, and then the, they have your instructions and they have your paper in there. Of course, you already have your um, tools and stuff from before. So, And there's Belle right on cue. She's going to squeak her toy for y'all in this video. She does it every time. Then I found my board. My cork board. This is cork board, and then you, after you uh, roll them on your thing, you set them in here and let them go out into the how big of a circle you want. And then you glue the circle, and then you make your shapes. So I think this must be an eighth of an inch. But I found some of my paper that I. Uh, my graffiti paper that my painted paper so I wanted to show you this how we'll try to get it in the frame this time of the camera so it goes in the little slot like so and then you turn it and you just turn it and turn it and turn it kind of want to keep it even Now you could do this the same way with your magazine papers. You don't have to have this kind of paper. You can do it on your magazine sheets. Okay, and then I got it all twisted on there. And now pull it off without pulling the middle out. Okay. Okay, so now you have your thing and you set it in or a thing like that and let it 
go out to where you want your, how big you want your, your roll, then you would glue it on the end, and then after that you would shape it in whatever shape that you wanted by squeezing the ends, and squeezing that end. And that's how you get your shapes. Easy, easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. It's just on a smaller scale, Victor. Really smaller scale, but it's the same thing you're doing. The very same thing. But anyway, I just want to show you that, Victor. And if you're really interested in any of this stuff, I can mail you some out. Um, it's really easy to do. Okay, now we're going to put our quilling stuff away. Well, that tool rolled right back to me. I'm going to put all this stuff away, and then we're going to get started on our paper tape. Yeah, we're going to make paper tape again. I wanted to do this before, but I didn't have these sheets of paper to show you. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go put this away, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to have a little drink of my juice here. Drinking some cranberry juice mixed with Perrier water. Yummy. Ugh, it's kind of sour. Okay, so now we're going to make paper tape. And we're going to glue these nice little strips that I made. These are my jelly printed paper on um, this is on deli paper this is a phone book paper and then we have some um, what's this stuff Oh, you know, you know this paper, <laughs> tissue paper, tissue paper, oh my gosh, I couldn't think of it, alright, let me reach over here, yeah. oh, and I wanted to show, I, I have my little Coca-Cola thing here that I have all my tools in, this is for Kelly Donovan. I, I watch a lot of her videos, and, and she has a hard time with her hands because she has uh, rheumatoid arthritis and um, fibromyalgia. Now I have fibro too, but it hasn't affected my hands so much. Just my other parts of my body. But anyway, I was at Walmart the other day and getting groceries, and I always have to go down the craft aisle. And I went down the kids' craft aisle. Now, I saw something similar when Shannon Green was using her, um, doing her canvas. She had great big mop type brushes. Well, I found these in the kids' section. And they are for um, easy gripping for little hands. And they come like this in a package of five. And I thought, for Kelly, I thought these would be, maybe not for your intricate painting, but for your background painting, these would be so much easier on your hands. So I just kind of wanted to give that shout out to you. And, and yeah, I hope that would help you. And I hope you get back on your YouTube station here pretty soon. I haven't seen you for a long time. I hope you're okay. Okay, we're going to get started on this paper. And like I say, I don't do fast forwarding because I don't know how. And I don't edit because I don't know how. So whatever's in the video is in the video. And it might be in parts. But we're going to do this. And I'm using Mod Podge glue that I made out of school glue and water. 
and we're going to glue these pieces of paper down. And we're going to go this way of the sheet. Oops. My in frame here for y'all. Do I need to back back out? Maybe I do, huh? Let me just glue these down and then I'll back out. So what I've been doing is I didn't have any uh, deli paper that was um, printed on the jelly plate and so I, <laughs> I got the jelly plate out let me show you let me back out a little bit here okay let me show you what I've done all day yesterday because I want to make sure I had some jelly prints. I have some jelly prints. Look at all that. And then I have been doodling on top of them and stamping on top of them and making them pretty so that I can cut them up and put them on this paper. Because that's it's supposed to have jelly print and tissue paper and yeah phone book paper that kind of paper is what you're supposed to use on this and this um, came this idea basically started from Patty Tolly Parish but she does hers different and then I saw it again on um, Now these got cut a little bit wider because my paper cutter wouldn't cut them and I had to do these by hand. Then I saw it again on um, Southern Gals Designs. You ought to go over there and check her videos out if you haven't already. She has some really cool stuff. Um, and basically I got this idea from her also. So we're just going to go along and we're just going to, this is some that I doodled on after I jelly printed it and then I, yeah, graffiti papered it. And then I cut it in strips. And because um, Crazy Island Whatever, Crazy Island, yeah, has the swap on a paper tape. Everybody's just really making paper tape that's in that swap, but I got mine made and sent out before I got um, my paper ordered, this sticky back paper ordered from Amazon, so... Um, I'm making some of this. I'm going to send out some more to my my group because I feel like they kind of got cheated. So I'm going to send them out some more after I get this done. If it turns out. If it turns out cruddy, I'll keep it for myself. But if it turns out good, I'll send them some more. So, let's see. Um, I have been off of the video for a um, few days. I just couldn't think of what I wanted to do. So, I've just been racking my brain, deciding where I wanted to do and where I wanted to go and I've been trying to get caught up in my journal. I'm still three weeks behind. I get one page done and then it comes Sunday again and now I'm back to three weeks behind again. So I gotta really work hard and get that going this week. Yeah. 
get that going I you know get that finished up so I don't get so far behind that it discourages me and I don't want to do it so is everybody getting ready for the holiday the trick-or-treaters I don't do how I don't do Halloween so we just uh, I'm sorry I'm a bah hung bug but I just think that the kids should have enough indoor trick-or-treating and things at school that they don't need to go around door-to-door -door trick or treating I think that's how kids get kidnapped and you know bad things happen if they're not with their parents most of them are with their parents but so we just don't do it we just turn our lights off and we're kind of bah humbug oh let's see that's basically what I have out here is what I have in the box so we'll just keep going with this It was kind of fun cutting up all these strips. When I was doing I was thinking, <laughs> Sounds like our pizza's here. The dogs are barking their heads off. We ordered pizza for dinner. So, I'll be probably getting a phone call down here saying, The pizza's here, but I'm not going to answer it, so... I think they know. I think my sweet husband went upstairs and told them I was filming, so they went and called down here. Alright, let's keep going with have this paper. It's starting to look pretty, pretty, pretty. I hope it works. I don't know why it wouldn't. Some of these are cut really crooked because I had to cut them by hand and tissue paper is not all that easy to cut straight. I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, I wouldn't have not have used this kind of paper if I'd have had to pay that much money. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have paid that much money for just that amount of sheets. That's why I didn't have any. I thought that was just ridiculous the amount of money that these people want for it when you can get a hundred sheets for ten dollars. Yeah. I'm getting stuck to my paper here and then I'm getting gluey hands gooey gooey gluey hands I can't stand gooey gooey gluey hands <clears throat> don't ask me why I just my mother said I was that way when I was a baby did not like gooey gooey dirty hands and I've been that way ever all my life Yep, there's the telephone saying the pizza's here. I don't think they're going to quit. Hang on a minute, let me get the phone. Hang on. Yep, that's who it was. And she's sorry that she called down here. And then Belle barks because she knows that when that phone rings that there's food upstairs. <laughs> I don't know how these dogs know that. How they know it. But usually when the phone rings that means there's food upstairs. We go get our food, come back downstairs. So that's how they must figure that out. And they know that there's good stuff. Bell doesn't get to eat any. I put a stop to that people food on the dogs because Wes kept feeding Molly 
And she got so fat, so fat, that she's ridiculously fat for a miniature dachshund. She weighs almost 21 pounds. And that's just, and I have tried to cut her back on her food. We've taken all of that table food away from her because it's really hard on them. It's really bad for them to, they can get diabetes. I mean, just like humans, it's really bad. Really, really bad for them to be overweight. So Belle has not had any taste of human food, as far as I know. Uh, she's never upstairs to be around the food table or when we're cooking, so nothing ever drops on the floor for her to, to get. Okay. Looks like we got couple more maybe. And then I'm going to have to dry this. Because Hmm. Well, do I have a skinny one? No. Alright, I'm not going to worry about that. But anyway, this is just a demo to show you guys how I'm going to do it. Um, where's my lid to my glue? Where's the lid to my glue? Here it is. That thing just rolls around and gets lost. Need a drink. Alright, I'm going to get the hot gun going here. And Kelly Donovan has always said that you know, she um, she does a lot for beginners who are just starting out into the um, mixed media and then don't have a lot of money. And she tells them to get their um, a hair dryer, a blow dryer. Well, I dug mine out because I used to do hair. And I'm, I dug mine out. And it does dry your stuff really fast, but it's really loud. And so I don't want to use it while I'm filming. But here we go. We're going to dry this up. too long for it to dry. I didn't really oversaturate it with a bunch of glue. do this before I came on YouTube so this is the first time I've done this so we're in it together guys I have been doing some nail art and I'll probably show that to you do a video on that. So if anybody is interested in um, doing this on this kind of paper, 
Um, you can get it pretty cheap from that place. Um, and, I, and it didn't have any postage. They didn't charge.